Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com and today I'm going to show you a really cool trick you can use with Google Chrome Developer Tools to see what your website looks like on different devices. For example, mobile phones. Okay, so I've just got a website here. I've got it opened up in Google Chrome, so make sure you have Google Chrome installed. It does work on Firefox, but it's not as good in my opinion. And this allows us to really look at the code of the site as well as see what it looks like on different devices. Super easy, I'll walk you through it right now. So I'm on this website, just right click, go inspect. That's all I gotta do. There is a shortcut that I like to use on my Mac which is Shift Command C and that pulls it up, but that's really good if you're doing web development stuff because you can pull it up really quickly. All you gotta do, right click, inspect. It's then going to open up this window here that shows you, let me get my big fat head out of the way. So it shows you all the HTML code here as well as the actual classes. Don't worry about that too much right now, okay? That'll, we'll come to that later. All you need to worry about just right now on your own e-commerce store is doing this thing, right click, inspect, and then going here to toggle device toolbar. What this does, it pulls up this, this view here, this toolbar, where you can then select here and see what your website looks like on different devices. Really, really cool. See how it changes like that? It's because we've designed it in a certain way so it looks different on different devices because we want to make sure it looks good when you're on your mobile phone. Okay, and so this is really important to do on your website. Go through your pages, your product page, your home page, even contact page. Make sure that you can actually see everything and it looks good. It's usable on mobile devices, okay? Because even, even if someone can't click a button, that's gonna be really, really bad, okay, guys? So that's what you do. And you can see, even if you're on a laptop right now and you wanna see what it looks like on a really big screen, you can adjust this to 3,000. It's probably gonna... Look, no, it doesn't look too bad actually on mine. Yeah, it's good because it's boxed on the, in the middle like that. But uh, yeah, so that's what I can do to, to check how does it look because maybe someone's on a huge monitor or a projector, rare case, but who knows, depends on your niche. Okay, guys, so that's what you can do to check how it looks on different devices. The next thing, like Google Chrome Developer Tools has so many awesome little things here. Like I can see all the HTML here and I use this for many different things. Uh, but say if you want to test out, say how a button looks. So if I want to try out how this button looks, I can select it over here, I gotta find it in the code, and then I'll be able to see all the code here. If you don't know CSS or how to code, don't worry about it, but you can just see, okay, that's a color, so that's red. So let me just change that to say black. And look, I've just changed it on the side to black, and so I can say, hmm, yeah, I think that does look good on my website, before actually talking to a developer or a designer to get it changed. So it's something that I'll do sometimes to see, okay, does this heading fit? Does this actually, can I change this on my website? You can even, if you're, if you're pretty handy, you can swap out the image. So um, here it actually has the image here. You can swap out that URL, URL with an image somewhere else, hosted somewhere else, like on your actual website. I'm pretty sure you can do it for a locally hosted one too. This is getting more into the technical side of things, but you can even do stuff like that. Like it won't show up on the actual live site, of course, because you're just editing what it looks like on your browser. So it's not like you're hacking the site. Some people say that's it's pretty funny. No, that's not what happens. You're just editing how it looks for yourself. Um, there's a bunch of other stuff you can do. Like there's a console where you can test out different commands and stuff. You can see all the different files on the site. Um, see how the like all the you know, all the files are there as well. You can see how it performs when you when you load it and see what files load. Anyway, yeah, there's lots of stuff to get into there. For the moment, use it to see how your 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 website looks on different devices. Really important because you'll find that a lot of people will go to your website on mobile and you you may never have even thought about how your website looks on mobile because you built it for desktop and then maybe your theme just arranges it for mobile. Well, some of the stores I've worked with, they've actually been very intentional with their mobile design where they'll see, wow, our mobile visitors actually convert better and at a higher volume because they're in a certain niche or because they just started doing some good stuff for their website. And they would then go and get their designer or themselves to build out a custom layout just for mobile. So it means if someone comes in, the browser detects or the website detects, hey, they're coming from mobile, let's show them a different design that's much more easier to use Maybe the frequently asked questions just is much easy to click and open up. Maybe it's easy to scroll through the photos of the product. You know, you're gonna have to think about this for your own product, your own website, but trust me, like this is a way that you could really tweak and, um, and get some massive gains on your website and on your store just by using mobile and device device adjustments to your site depending on, um, you know, depending on what you wanna show for those different people. Anyway, guys, that's it for this little quick video I want to show you guys. Um, if it was helpful, hit the like button. Let me know if you have any questions below and uh, please subscribe if you wanna learn more. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.